DMDK Chief Captain Vijay Khan passes the way. Captain's body has been taken to his party office now in Coimbedu in Chennai. Chief Minister Stalin has reached the DMDK Chief Vijay Khan's residence to pay his last respects. Captain Vijay Khan tested positive for COVID. He was on ventilator support in Chennai over the last few days. The Tamil superstar and DMDK Chief Captain Vijay Khan has passed away and you can see that condolences are pouring in from across the state and the nation as well. The Prime Minister has condoled the passing away of the leader as well. My colleague Shilpa is now joining me over the phone line from Chennai. Shilpa, condolences pouring in from across the nation for the DMDK chief. Uh, well, that's why Paul me. In fact, uh, condolences, attributes are pouring in from across the country for DMDK chief after politician Captain Vijay Khan, uh, who passed away this morning. He was 71 years old. Uh, he, of course, uh, has been, uh, you know, ill for quite some time. He's been out of in and out of hospitals. Uh, his health condition was not uh, great. Uh, and it was on December 26 that he was uh, admitted to the hospital, even though the party at that point in time had said that he's been He's been admitted uh, for a regular checkup. Uh, uh, just this morning, the party had put out an update saying that uh, the captain had tested positive for uh, uh, had tested positive for COVID, and, and he's on ventilator support. And just a short while after that, the uh, hospital, of course, confirmed that uh, Captain Vijaykant is no more. He passed away. He was admitted due to pneumonia. Is what uh, uh, the hospital said, and even after the best efforts of the hospital staff, uh, he could not uh, be treated properly, he could not uh, recover. That is something that the hospital of course said. Uh, but right now, uh, his body is being taken to the DMDK uh, head headquarters in uh, Koyimbe, Chennai. Now, this is uh, one place, uh, you know, it defines uh, DMDK chief uh, Captain Vijay Khan, the kind of uh, philanthropist he was, the kind of kind soul that he was, because every time someone uh, used to come hungry to his office, uh, he made sure that they returned back uh, with their stomach full. They used to feed the poor and the needy uh, at uh, his party office. And even when COVID, uh, you know, uh, uh, COVID spread across the country, uh, the NDK chief Vijay Khan offered uh, to use his party office and his educational institutions as a COVID relief center, uh, as uh, as a center where patients could be admitted. So that goes on to show the kind of, uh, you know, the kind of leader that he was. And that is the reason why we're seeing several leaders, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, and uh, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, all of them putting out tributes. In fact, I'm just going to quote from what Prime Minister Narendra Modi said. Uh, he's, uh, he said that he's extremely saddened by the passing of Ed Vijay Dhan, uh, a legend of the Tamil film world. His charismatic performances captured the hearts of millions. As a political leader, he was deeply committed to the public service, leaving a lasting impact on Tamil Nadu's political landscape. His passing leaves a void that will be hard to fill. And it was a close friend, and I fondly recall my interactions with him over the years. Uh, in this sad hour, my thoughts are with his family, fans, and numerous followers. So that is what Prime Minister Narendra Modi had put out on uh, his uh, social media accounts. Uh, likewise, the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi also said that you know, he was deeply saddened by the demise of uh, Vijay Khan. His Cinema and have left in right. Shilpa, just hold on for a few moments. Mr. Narayan Tirupati is over the phone line with us. How big a loss is this for Tamil Nadu? The passing away of Captain Vijay Kant, a superstar in Tamil cinema, and then a political leader who, in fact, tried to chart his own politics at a time that both M. Karnanidhi and J. Jayalalitha were very much active in politics in Tamil Nadu, was known for bipolar politics. Yes, yes. It is really unfortunate and it's really shocking. If uh, his health would have cooperated, I think uh, Mr. Vijay Gandhi would have changed the entire uh, scene, entire politics in Tamil Nadu in the last few years. But unfortunately, that did not happen and he fell into a very bad shape in, uh, regarding his health. He's a great actor. He was a great actor. He was a great politician. And, uh, uh, you know, he was definitely against uh, the corruption. That is the main thing. Whatever movies he has acted, mostly he had been a very honest police uh, man. Or he used to uh, campaign for uh, state foreigners in uh, public life. That is what he has done. And he has personally helped so many people, so many actors, 
so many uh, you know artists and uh, as a um, uh, as as a president of the film actors union he did a very great job and definitely uh, the tamil nadu the tamil people have lost a very good leader and a very good human it's really unfortunate and it's a very sad day absolutely mr narayanan tirupati thank you so much for speaking with thank india you. today so that is of course mr tirupati from the bjp saying that this is a very unfortunate day for tamil nadu my colleague akshita nandgopal is also joining us at the moment akshita he was of course a huge superstar in tamil cinema before of course he took the plunge in politics uh, everyone who speaking about him is describing him as one who came to the help of the needy he was never out of resources in terms of helping those out uh, i was reading about him it said that you know even on film sets he ate the same food that everyone in the crew was eating as well so a very simple man very very true uh, paul me whether as an actor or as a politician he did have a huge impact uh, on tamil nadu and i think most people don't know about captain vijaykanth a lot you know in tamil nadu there was a point when he was in the same league as a rajnikanth as a kamal hasan that's how big a star he was his name captain of course comes from the roles that he played particularly a 1991 film that is very well known for he has played always the good cop an army hero and that's the kind of image that he carried forward as a politician as well you know in a, a space and in a state which is largely dominated by two dravidian parties by the dmk and the aia dmk Vijay Kant when he brought about the DMDK again yes a Dravidian fold but if you translate the DMDK uh it largely also spoke of national and that was something that nobody else had heard of national progressive dravidian movement that's something the dmk and aia dmk didn't stand for so he had a very different political vision also in tamil nadu and in a state as i mentioned paul me where you had a dmk and aia dmk essentially dominating here was vijay kant with his huge star presence entering the political fold and with a bang with every election he started doing better so much so that in 2011 he actually beat the dmk to become the principal opposition party it was the aia dmk and then the DMDK that one more seats than the DMK so many assume that post that it would be only the rise and rise of Vijay Kant of captain the politician unfortunately you saw in fact a uh, uh, water base of DMDK dwindling and that was because of a number of factors one was in fighting in the party the other is Jayalalitha realizing that perhaps a BJP tie up didn't really work for her uh, you had also of course the many health issues that captain had and i also heard what mr narayan and tirupati said uh, he's right you know if maybe health cooperated better with captain we'd be seeing him uh, in a very different political avatar today in tamil nadu but everyone who interacted with him polemi would speak about uh, his vision for tamil nadu how he helped everyone in need how he focused a lot on welfare measures and that was largely what defined his politics he wasn't you know a great orator as so many that we've seen like the likes of kalanya dr karunanidhi he was none of that he wasn't a dr mgr though many very famously also referred to him as black mgr because of how different he looked from dr mgr but also took forward that welfare politics that dr mgr was so well known for which is why there was also a lot of enmity bad blood between captain and amma between captain and jay jay lalita uh and there was you know no love lost between dmdk and aia dmk it was always verses of these two and there was a lot of talk that you know he could ally with the dmk but never with the aia dmk because it was very personal uh the hate essentially between vijay kant and jay lalita uh but you know if you talk about really what captain envisioned and how he was one of those few successful stars who entered into politics in tamil nadu uh, a polemy it was because yes he focused on welfare as i said you know he was someone who uh envisioned bringing back the mgr era of politics in tamil nadu was successful very briefly in that before jayalalitha kind of started changing her style of politics to ensure she could address his growing popularity so he did change tamil nadu politics perhaps would have had a lot more influence if his health didn't fail him the last few weeks of course the very few public appearances that he made broke everyone's hearts because uh, it was clear that he was ailing he wasn't doing well and unfortunate news 
news that came in this morning. He tested positive uh, for COVID, was suffering from pneumonia and a slew of other ill, uh, uh, you know, illnesses that his family really didn't divulge, understandable really. His legacy now will be carried forward uh, by his wife, Premalata, who just two weeks back took over as the head of the DMDK. Uh, but without really, you know, that image, the picture of Vijay Kant, of Captain, of mm -hmm. him being there at the, the helm of DMDK, there will be questions of whether the party really can carry forward and have any sort of comeback really in Tamil Nadu politics. But make no mistake, he's left a huge indelible mark, uh, Polomi, yeah. in Tamil Nadu films, in Tamil films and in Tamil Nadu politics. Right. Akshita, just uh, stay on with us. Uh, Akshita, of course, was mentioning how there was a lot of bad blood between J. J. Lalita, the late Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, and Captain Vijay Kant. Let's listen into what the AIDMK has to say. He was the leader of opposition in the Assembly. Hmm. Well, we were an ally with AIADMK in 2011 to 2016. Setting aside political differences, he was a great human. And in the film industry, he has given lives to many youngsters, many newcomers. He called them and he used to give them chances. And he has nurtured many youngsters in the film industry. A very humble soul and a great human. Who always speaks his mind? Hmm. It's a huge loss for the DMDK and as well as for the film. Hmm. Uh, very, very sad news to uh, wake up to. Uh, he was one of the most... Uh, uh, prominent uh, film actors who could make it very successfully after Mr. NGR and Mr. Vijay Jalalita. Many tried, many made their foray into this film, but it was Mr. Vijay Khan who made it successful. He became a force on its own. He understood that uh, there are people who want an alternative to the DMK and the ADMK and he captured it. But uh, somehow uh, he, he could not break that mold and become, you know, a genuinely third player. But, but, the way he has captured the heart through his movies, through his political uh, statements and political acumen, he will be, be an irreparable loss to the political fraternity. And most importantly, he was a very great friend of our great leader, Dr. Salinger, and our Chief Minister, Mr. M.K. Stalin, irrespective of the political differences. So that is what both the DMK and the AIDMK have to say. A great loss today, not just for Tamil cinema, for Tamil politics as well. Like many over there saying possibly if Captain Vijay Kant had lived, the political landscape of Tamil Nadu could have been completely different in the years to come.